Warner Brothers should take note that while Sucker Punch's opening weekend is certainly embarrassing, it's going to be nothing compared to the embarrassment of tanking the entire DC Cinematic Universe. Viola Davis once said that as a dark-skinned black woman in Hollywood, the only roles offered to her were either a maid or government official. So I guess we should all be grateful the Suicide Squad doesn't have a maid. Speaking of Man of Steel, I imagine they're going to keep Henry Cavill since, you know, his movie only comes out two years beforehand. But then again, let's not underestimate Warner Brothers' ability to f*** up a comic book movie. I, and I also feel that Dwayne Johnson will not be willing to go full villain, which is necessary for Black Adam to start his redemption arc. I also don't think he's going to be willing to take a back seat to Shazam, as he's supposed to do, because he, oh, he has this need now to be front and center. I mean, look what happened with him and Vin Diesel, right? That has been trying to come together for quite some time, and I kind of suspect it might never come together, so we'll see. And I think that would be best for everybody involved. Black Adam will be going up against Hawkman. You know, the DC Hawk that doesn't have as many fans as Hawk Girl. The role that even I admit Jessica Chastain was born to play. She's naturally angry, in a bad mood, and has the red hair. I honestly feel she would kill it in that role. Patty Jenkins is nuts. I mean, it's like she didn't learn anything. You know, that's the definition of, an, of insanity, that you keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. She's like, who should I write Wonder Woman 3 with? I know, Jeff Johns, who everybody's fighting with and says is toxic and a career killer. Let me go call him up. I mean, I think the gun's like, get the hell away from me. I think he wants him out of there before Jeff Johns can cause any damage to him and Saffron's reign. So that's one of the reasons to have such an emphatic no. I think he's also going to want Dwayne Johnson out of there for the same reason, because there can only be one cook in this kitchen. So speaking of desperate and embarrassing tweets, let's move over to Dwayne Johnson. Uh, and these actors should stop campaigning because it's embarrassing. I mean, and speaking of embarrassment, Wonder Woman 1984, Black Adam, I think DC fans are tired of being embarrassed in the superhero space. That Henry Cavill is not well liked in Hollywood, and that's for two reasons, basically. He has a huge ego, and he thinks he's a bigger star than he is. And some of you might be like, he's Superman. It doesn't get bigger than that. Well, he's not Superman. He's not the character. Superman is a character. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. There is just so many red flags around Henry Cavill at this point, and they ain't a Superman cape anymore. That, you know, do you, is this someone you really want to be in business with? Kevin Feige still has a boatload of characters to cast, many of which we all agree Henry Cavill would be perfect for. But does Kevin Feige now want Warner Brothers Discovery's sloppy thirds? Now, Henry Cavill infamously showed up at the Avatar 2 premiere, uh, you know, with this, again, like with like a little cup being like, please, somebody give me a roll. 62% of you said, don't do Peacemaker Volume 2. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, it wasn't even watched by a ton of people, you know? I mean, it was very low interest when it aired. I mean, it certainly it was the most successful, I guess, H I mean, but where is that bar for HBO Max shows? It's not like they're gonna stop making the boys or something like that. Set photos leaked from Titans, and the cast was like, oh no, we feel so horrible that our fans are first seeing our characters like this, because it so does not represent our costumes or our portrayals. Well, it turns out they were full of shit. It's a fan event that you can sign up for uh, to experience the DC Universe, and apparently it's a horror walkthrough, because this is horrifying. Oh my god. We're gonna start out with Starfire, and I have to say that TMZ is gonna have a field day with the pictures of Robin picking up a prostitute. That's right. This is apparently what Starfire is going to be wearing all the time. I feel bad for Anna Diop. She's stuck in this uh, situation because, of course, she's a, a star. She doesn't have a huge career, and so this seemed like a great opportunity for her, and she must have done a lot of crying in her trailer. What's the, the worst thing about it, actually, is to take a character who celebrated sexuality in an innocent way and turn her into a streetwalker type. I'm trying to have fun. Well, let's just say social media is coming for you. On top of making it taking a set, an innocent sexuality and making it for sale, seem like for sale, uh, she looks she doesn't look like she has any powers. And that to me is really bad. That's all, like also unforgivable. Uh, she just looks like a prostitute who somehow was paid or gifted an alien necklace and bracelets and she doesn't know what she's wearing. And also, why would a prostitute hang out with these clearly three underage characters, right? Or at least two underage characters. Anna Diop, to me, doesn't match the age of the rest of the cast. Her eyes do light up when she uses her powers. That's the budget version of Starfire. 